Welcome back to Black Star Dove. Welcome back to my channel. Um, as always, I need you to hit me up with that HBO special, which means help a brother out, trying to get to 1,000 subscribers. I have to the end of the year to do it. I know I can do it. Go ahead, hit that subscribe button. Um, this is probably gonna be a controversial topic. Um, but I will say this, sometimes when I do controversial things, I get inboxes and things that nature people send me stuff. My only request is that you can send me whatever, at least like the video first. If you could do that for me, and then you can send whatever hate things you want to send to me, I consider that a fair exchange. So, thank you. Um, so, let's talk about the two topics about video. Like, I wanted to talk about this for a while, but I felt like, you know, it was kind of controversial. It, it is controversial, so whatever. I want to talk about um, Shikari Richardson and Little Nas X. So I'm gonna start with Shikari first. Um, just been noticing the behavior that she's been, you know, putting out there. Uh, like I just, I've been following everything, so it's not just like I've been like seeing it from. A, of course, I'm seeing it from afar. I've not seen it from up close. But I've been seeing how she's been starting stuff with people, but then coming off as the victim. Um, it just seems like her head is getting really big now. And it's like, it's going to get to a point where it's like, she's going to destroy her own self, if that makes sense. And I understand that she's still recovering from the loss of a family member and things of that nature. But it's like someone has to like take her and pull her in before it's too late. Cause at this point it's like, she's just like attacking everyone. And then it brought up the whole black Americans versus Jama versus Jamaicans and all that stuff. And then the Caribbeans. And so it was just like a whole lot of nothing that came out of this. Um, even now she's still taking shots. Like she took shots at, um, I want to make sure I say her name right. I think it was, Alex Jones, I, I forgot her name, um, but she was the um, the, the sprinter. Uh, she won a few, a few gold medals. I believe she won seven gold medals. Um, and then that was like crazy. Like she's just been like going at people. She's still going at going at people. She was like liking posts and liking tweets, dissing Jamaicans and stuff like that. Um, it just seemed like it's not what could be best, especially for her brand. And I understand that she's she's very young. I think she's only 21 years old. So I have to think back at my 21 year old. So will I be trying to go at people like that? Go on that all these older adults and they're taking the high road. So it's like, you know, it's like a slippery slope that she's on. But of course she can always recover. And I'm pretty sure someone will pull her to the side and say, hey, don't mess up this opportunity because this is a very special opportunity. Uh, let's keep it real. If it wasn't for her being suspended, she'll probably just be another runner. Which, okay, of course, you know, they have a little bit of a fan base and people know who they are, especially during the time of the Olympics. But after that, they kind of faded to obscurity for a little bit. Uh, but she still has a nice, strong foothold. I mean, right now, you could, you could possibly say she's the face of the sport. You know, when she did that race and she came in last place, you know, they made sure that they interviewed her. Like, I heard more about her than I heard about the person who actually won. I had to look up who actually won the race. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, okay, I understand that she lost, but who won? <laughs> so, so, like, you know, that's how much influence and power she has at this point in time. Um, now, let's talk about Mr. Lil Nas, Lil Nas X. Um, I actually have no problem with him. Um, I, I like I like his music. Uh, I was a fan of Old Town Road. Um, I, I liked how at first they didn't classify it as country, and then it just took over the world, and they had no choice but to recognize it. Um, and then so like you know like that whole rise up, but lately I just feel like I mean I'm hearing more about his antics instead of hearing about the music that makes sense and i know it's hard to follow up on a smash hit like old town road but 
like the music I am him hearing from, like some of the music has been okay, you know, but it's mostly been the antics, like you know, the the devil shoe or whatever. Okay, I haven't seen nothing wrong with that. I don't know if he actually still sold them or not. I know that he he, he got sued by Nike. That that was a whole mess by itself. Um, no fighting with people on Twitter. Sorry about that. Um, I'm trying to edit these two videos together. Uh, like I said, he was uh, fighting on Twitter, which I think is normal for for most celebrities, especially coming on on this day and age. And then he had the recent pregnancy photos. Um, I don't know. It just seems like his antics or taking the shine out and the music is being put in the background. And I think he's very talented. Like he is a very talented individual. Um, it's just that I just don't want it for him to be like, you be known more for your antics than your music. Cause the music should always speak for you. Maybe he doesn't have that many, like, you know, hits left in him. Maybe he's trying to hold on to relevancy. I I've heard it all. I don't, I'm not sure. I'm sure he has some more creative juices flowing he can get some more music out there but it's just i don't know it just seems like one thing after another after another and it's never music related it's always you know some type of antic to get his name back out there and i personally don't think it's a good thing but there's an old saying that there's no such thing as bad publicity so if you subscribe to that model then what he's doing is perfectly fine um no, but these are two individuals, especially two black individuals. You know, we have a, a young black man and a young black woman, um, you know, being successful. And I wish them the best. And I, I want them to have longevity. And I, I, like, I want them to, you know, become legends. Because I love seeing that, especially for my people. But the antics, the antics that, they, that they both have been doing have made me step back and say, okay, we've seen this before. We've seen the road that, that these people have took before, and we've seen the results. Let's try not to repeat this. Uh, again, I'm just one man, but I just felt the need to say that, you know, especially for these two black people, if someone can get a hold of them and say, hey, this is not the right way to do things. Maybe someone is telling them this and advising them this, but at the same time, they're still both very young. So you also have to keep that in mind. Uh, and just think back about when, when you were that age and things of that nature. Um, but yeah, like I said, just like the video, subscribe. I am trying to get to a thousand views. Uh, I'm trying to get this to be another source of income to provide for my son. Other than that, take care. I love you. Peace.